This server is divided by people that like chests and people that like barrels. And when I mean the server, I mean me. I, I like barrels and everyone else likes chests because they're stupid. But this division has caused destruction, imprisonment, conflict and loneliness. But to really understand how all of this makes sense, we have to go way back to when I said This is a barrel and its opening sound is so nice, moving and calm. And this is a chest. And it's so bloody annoying, like who decided to add this stupid opening sound into the game? So, I am making it my mission to find and replace every single chest and turn them into barrels. And that makes six chests striped. Yeah, my motto is the barrel bandit strikes again. Listen, by the end of this video, I want everyone on this server to be using barrels. So the only way to enforce that is by changing the chests myself. Listen, I really hate that opening sound. It is the bane of my existence. Okay, one person has been barrel banded. That just leaves nine more people to strike. Starting with Cyan. Next is Wenzo. Then Rasmus. And then Aeon, who has three chests. What the hell? I should also change my own chests into barrels. So day one and we've striked five people. My message the barrel bandit will probably get around the server and everyone will begin to use barrels. Something dreadful has happened. So there's someone on the server who is going round taking barrels by the name the barrel bandit. Now I don't know who this is, but I quite like my chests. I don't want to use barrels. You can't get double barrels in Minecraft. But someone has been going around taking them. And I am determined to find out who. I will I will find out who. I will. Well, oh crumbs, this is not jolly good in the slightest. The guy who's trying to discover me is someone called Wyra. Who, funny enough, is the first person I barrel banded. So, uh, that's silly. Now, there are still a few people on the server which are still using chests. Which, for the record, is not a barrel. You know, I don't think you sillies appreciate how much effort this is. Like, it's such a daunting and annoying task. Just like me, I'm annoying. Everyone, now I've called this meeting because I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there's a bit of a problem. There is someone, we don't know who, going around by the name the Barrel Bandit. And I don't know about you, but I don't like this person very much. Agree. I will work very hard to find out who this person is. Your chests, I've seen it all, have been replaced with barrels. Some of us like double chests. And some of us want better storage, especially yeah. for things like the farms, which we need the double chest for, otherwise they break. It's very yeah. annoying. I'd also like you all to follow me. We place chests everywhere around the server. I'm going to keep an eye on these chests. And if they turn into barrels, I'm going to find out who's doing it. The barrel bandit has taken too much from us for too long. Yeah. We will rise up and the barrel bandit will fall. Well, that's not the response I was expecting. If Wyra and everyone else keep a closer eye on the chests around the server, then I really, really need to keep my identity a secret. I can't let anyone find out that I'm the Barrel Bandit. Otherwise, the entire server will, uh, kind of hate me. Now, so far, I've only been changing the chests in players' bases. But that's not including the various farms around the server and random chests which are just placed everywhere. Like, what the hell is Blood's Purpose Bear? What the hell? Now, these smaller farms are really, really easy to change, but then you have the big old honkly doos like the raid farm. Ah, uh, hell no. For now, I'll change all the chests which Wyra placed down to try and intimidate me, which only fueled my hatred for chests even more. And finally, to express my love for barrels, I'm going to build a giant barrel in the middle of spawn. This is a creative world, by the way. I, I, I don't have the materials for it yet. Now, the materials for this barrel are very easy to get. The only problem is the quantity of these items. I need so much goddamn wood. Uh... Now, I need to collect all of this wood as fast as possible, because if anyone logs onto the server and sees me collecting wood, which is the only resource needed for a barrel, people might start suspecting me as the barrel bandit which I'm just not, so we need to be as speedy as possible. Okay, we got all of the wood for the big barrel. I want to build it here because it's right next to spawn, so whenever anyone logs on, they'll see it immediately. I just gotta eat these trees first because they're in the blummin' way. 
Honestly, I'm just building this giant barrel for like, intimidation points, if that makes sense. Listen, I don't make sense, okay? Don't expect anything I say to make sense ever. And complete another Rooney. Brody looks so silly. But you want to know what's even sillier? The fact that you haven't subscribed or joined my Discord server. Yeah, I have a bloody public Discord server now. Look at the link. Look, look at the link. Look at the link. If you join before 10k, you can get a fancy before 10k roll. That's awesome. Well, not really, but that's awesome. It's such a wholesome place here. Look, just watch this. Hey guys, do you like me? That's a, that's just a visual bug. You can do silly things like send a colon free or send a colon free or send a colon. Or you can show how unfunny you are. <coughs> Or you could even send a silly seal. But, do you want to know what's even sillier than this silly seal? The fact that people on this server think that chests are better than barrels. And for the final silly touch, I'm going to turn this entire meeting room into barrels. Including Wenzo's very fancy table. Oh crumbs, uh oh, a quick, 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 the barrel bandit strikes again. And, go, okay, a stemmer is out, bye! With the giant barrel complete, this finally made people start to go crazy. People were throwing accusations left and right, accusing each other on who the barrel bandit was. Everywhere's been barrelified, apart from no place. No. Yeah, Miles and I found this out earlier on stream. These. No. Is Mo care to explain why you've got some nice crispy chest? I just added those yesterday, I swear to Wait, God. Wait, what? Oh, look, he's holding all of the no. chest for himself. But of course, like everyone else, some people were accusing me. Well, it's done. I'll show you stats. Ushio. Ushio. If it's not a, if it's not a stana, who the hell is it though? Press tab, press tab, press tab. Before you do anything. Dog, you can see me online. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just want to make sure you haven't got two, like, Minecrafts open. So, what's going to happen? If I check my in-game stats, it says I have a casual 3,587 barrels placed. And there's no way for me to get out of this situation, as literally four players are watching this happen. My own statistics are going to expose me and my identity as the Barrel Bandit. She's either gonna have, like, 5,000 barrels placed, or, like, seven. Come on. Let's go by time fused. Like the best well, it'll be either way. It's it's literally gonna be hard to find the barrel no matter what you do. What? 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 No, oh yeah, it's twenty one. No, it's one times used. So how? How does my barrel count and not even reach fifty? My actual barrel statistics are over three thousand. So literally, how does my barrel statistic say one? Well, what have I told you? Those weren't my barrel statistics. You see, all the way back on day one, I created a texture pack which swapped barrels with ancient debris, causing me to have only one barrel used, and fooling the entire server. I just have a small amount of 3,587 ancient debris. Now with my name cleared, they started blaming literally everyone else. My Thank guess, you. it's it's either Wyra or Gizmo. Wyra was so defensive about showing stats. It's he wasn't I don't know. Yeah, you kept on saying we just show stats and he said, no, 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 let's do it a different way. It has to be Wyra. No one else can do it. Show your stats, Aeon. Get on, get on, sir. Oh get your stats, my god, get I'm getting stats. on. I'm getting on, I'm getting on. Mm -hmm. Now this is getting bloody stupid. I spent ages collecting the wood, planning and detailing a beautiful massive barrel, only for Wyra to take the wood which I collected and make the ugliest chest I have ever seen. Like, it doesn't even have a room. What the crumbs is this tomfoolery? So now, I'm angry. I'm turning the entire raid farm into barrels, which genuinely took so long and lagged out my game so much. But after that, I'm going to change Miles' entire house into barrels because he accused me yesterday. So he's a meanie beanie. But it's clear that nobody on the server is going to use barrels willingly. If I want people on the server to forever use barrels, I need to make it a competition. Which is why I introduce to you a Stellanus Silly Parkour course. Basically, I tell everyone, hey, if you fail this parkour, you have to use barrels forever. But they won't just jump with joy and be like, yippee, yay, yahoo! They need a reason to actually play the parkour, which is why if they beat the parkour, they get their chest back. 
Listen, I know the whole premise of this video has been me stealing chests, and now I'm giving their chests back, but hear me out. I'm going to make the parkour really, 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 super really hard, so that no one beats it and they all have to use barrels. So how hard is the parkour going to be? Well, first you need to traverse through this basic jumps with head hitters, then you need to do chain jumps, piston jumps, ladder jumps, three neos in a row, these three block up one jumps, whatever this jump is, and at the end you have to do a four block jump where if you fail you have to do all of this again. <sighs> and they only get 20 minutes. I just gotta actually build the blummin' parkour first. Um, Estelina? Um, you do see how this makes you look a little bit suspicious. What can I do for you to say nothing? Um, maybe an, an IOU could... I could turn a blind eye to this. An IOU right now, please. Official Estelina IOU. There you go. Thank you. Okay, well, I saw nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was so goddamn close. What the goddamn hell? What the goddamn goddamn goddamn? With Wenzo's mouth shut, that made me realize something. How do I actually tell people about this parkour? I can't just make a Discord announcement on my Estelina account, as that would give me away instantly. So I made a Barrel Bandit Discord account with the announcement announced. It was time for the final Barrel Banditing to take place. Okay, okay. So where, where's the coordinates? Oh, right. We found we're the coordinates, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we've got the coordinates. Yeah. It's in a barrel right above the door. What is this? Oh. Guys, guys, guys. I'll lead you to it. Follow me, everyone. I'll lead us to the destination. Right, everyone, gather, gather around me. Are you guys far coming? Okay, it's, 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 it's this way. How do you know? My, I've got the <laughs> I, I have the, have the coordinates. Hang on, Chief. Woo! How do you have the coordinates? Yeah, Chief. Memorize Unless Memory. I took a screenshot himself. of the barrel. Get him, Piglin. Oh. Who is this, bro? There it's a Stalina. Why? What? Run. What? It's parkour. It's oh, parkour. Oh. Set your spawn. Set your spawn. Wait, yeah, so how do we know uh, like when to start? Whatever that is. Okay. Oh, Cause like I mean, the barrel bandit is definitely amidst. Of among, us, among us. Among us. I know it. So in my hands are two shulker boxes full of every single chest on the server, which I have turned into barrels. No, no, no. I want to hear it. Hi. And the barrel bandit. In front of you is, you know, as you can see, a parkour. If you complete the parkour within 20 minutes, I will replace all your barrels back to chests. If you fail, you have to use barrels until the end of the server. So you have 20 minutes and it begins now. Go! Oh, <laughs> oh, my oh guys, truce. We actually just no. I want just yeah. Chief Holy Arm, come on, man. I also no. see you. No. 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 I was so sad. You pushed me off. off. You running like cuz you get more minutes. Oh, Rasmus did it first. Dude, I Oh, oh. Sure, I can't do parkour. You keep pushing me off. Well, that no, one. Oh. My hands is so oh. sweaty right now. Yeah, oh, I'm cracked at the craft, dude. Oh, no! Go, 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 go! The okay, amount of death is hilarious. Tazo is zooming by. Why is there not a checkpoint here yet? <laughs> Chief, Estelina, oh, Estelina, I oh actually hate oh you so much. No, it's, it's not Estelina, that's the, the barrel freaking bandit. No! It's God damn it, I was so close! It's just MCC. This, dude, oh. this piston stuff is garbage. Oh, watch oh, no, oh, no. Can we Can get 30 myself? minutes instead of 20, Estelina? What do we have to do for 30 minutes? Sing. La -da -dee, la -da -da -da. Good job, Miles. Guys, and I love dudes. Why is there no checkpoint here, Astana? Um, I forgot. Clay. Hey, oh, did yeah, you just steal one of the blocks? No. Hey, on. Hey, on. For fuck's sake. <laughs> no. oh, These jumps, I'm going to piss myself. Oh. oh. <laughs> what the? Oh, what? Yeah, oh, exactly. Last Go jump. I'm on the last jump. I hate you, Estelina. Oh. Yes. All right, Tazo. Cyan. Cyan. Oh, yeah, Cyan yeah. did it! So cool. Fuck! I got 
done that so many times! <laughs> um, actually, Estana, Estana, I might have to fist so fight good. once we meet up. You wouldn't hit a girl, would you, Rasmus? I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Rasmus! <laughs> Rasmus! <laughs> oh! Okay, Aeon, you go first. <laughs> you have 40 seconds left. Wait, Estelle and I want to bargain. Selena, if you What's give them guy? five extra minutes, I will sacrifice my chests. I want to go to- oh. Wait, what? Oh. Cyan. I will give them that. I'll give you all an extra five minutes, but Cyan can no longer use chests for the rest of the server. What a yeah. go. Give me that. What a go. What a go. I love it. Right. Oh, go, just go. <laughs> Tell me the rest of- Jump, but- <laughs> oh. Oh, no! oh, that's me! No. I actually, uh, I am sh No! <gasps> yeah, but Ooh. you get a much smaller oh, one. Oh, I did it! Yes. Oh, I, I swear, Wait, I swear wait! My oh, Miles still... did it! Oh, wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking, I can't, I'm shaking. 20, 19, 18. Shush. Shut up, please. Stop counting down, that's actually just me. <laughs> is, is this or nothing? <laughs> You've got to make Momentum it. Momentum it! Oh yeah. my god, with 10 oh, seconds oh, left! Oh my god! Well, Did you see it literally the last 30 seconds? Wow. So, um, where's Chi? Chi! Well, no, but oh, Cyan yeah, sacrificed. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chi! Like, that was oh, Chi, the good of the server. Chi! Poor Chi. Poor Chi. Do you want to know what the funny thing is? Chief doesn't have any chests in his base. Oh, you're it right. was all the ruse! I went to barrel you, barrel and you didn't have chests. You only had jokers. Science. So am I the only one? Yeah, you're getting one. Brody for nothing. <laughs> oh, seven for five. Oh, seven for seven. Oh, so uh, this was all all fun and games, right? I don't get no punishment. No, you're getting banned. I have come to the conclusion, and the verdict is, Estelina, you are found guilty of being the Barrel Bandit. <laughs> you will be dog. sentenced to banishment. Have your items stripped away. Please place yeah. them inside of the shulker box, and you will be banished to the nearest Mushroom Island. And if you are found to yeah. have exited said Mushroom Island, you will be killed on sight. Yeah. Oh, crumbs. Please leave the facility yep. immediately. Okay, Astana, yes. come with me in one second. Astana, I hope that this allows you to think about what you've done. I don't think. <gasps> A dog. What whoa, the whoa, heck? whoa, whoa, whoa. Astana. Yeah. Say hello to your new home. Looks beautiful. Oh. Uh, yeah. Be right at home. Land ho! We are here. Okay, Asana. You are now here. Lose. <laughs> 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 what the hell, my? Those mouths. I don't know who did that. Joke. Okay, do we leave now? Or do we just leave? Yeah, I think we're just go we're just going now. Bye. Oh. Uh, hey, you want? What? Do we still oh. cause all for you? Uh, <laughs> bye. Oh. Bye. Oh. Yeah, so um, I, I got banished. Big time. Wyro was not a happy little lad, but obviously I wasn't just gonna sit around on this island forever. I had to think of a way to get back to spawn. But for now, I am banished to this mushroom island and I'm not allowed to ever leave or go back to the server's spawn. So I'm moving the entire island to spawn, baby. Wow! But if I want to pull this off though, we're gonna need some gear. Yeah, I literally have nothing. Wait, how do you get gear on a mushroom island? Um, moving this island to spawn might be a bit harder than I thought. Literally, how do I even get wood? Um... Oh my crumbs, this is jolly good. Okay, now we can do the montage. Now I plan to remove each layer of mycelium, wait for it to grow and then mine the layer underneath. And it all begins with this mycelium block. Oh dearie me. To even collect the mycelium you need silk touch. Now this task alone isn't too difficult. The only problem is that I'm on a goddamn mushroom island. The three things I require for silk touch is an enchantment table, 30 levels and a minimum of 9 bookshelves. Two of which require sugarcane. How the blummin' hell do I get sugarcane on a goddamn mushroom island? I tried looking underground for sugarcane to see if it hopefully spawned. It, it didn't spawn. But in desperation, I tried looking at the edges of the island, which was obviously futile. Sugarcane can't even spawn on mycelium. Sugarcane spawned on mycelium. 
what the fud, this is only one of the items we need. Leather is still a requirement for books. Now I could kill all the mushroom cows on the island, but do you wanna know a silly fun fact? Mushroom cows don't respawn. If I kill all the mushroom cows on this island, I only get 15 leather, out of the minimum of 28 I need for silk touch. I gotta find a way to breed the cows, but I'm on a mushroom island. It's literally impossible for me to get wheat seeds without grass. Literally, how do I get enough leather for silk touch? I kid you not, one piece of glitched grass spawned on the mushroom island. Give me a seed. I swear this isn't staged. Please don't say it's staged. Please. Please. I swear. Please. With the single seed, we can get a bloody bunch of wheat, which we can use to breed the cows in the pit of doom. You are about to have the worst life you could imagine. But worse. Oh, and if you're wondering why these mushroom cows are regular cows, that's because this guy, Wyra, sheared them. Yeah, you can shear mushroom cows. Pretty odd, isn't it? Now, you might be wondering who this Wyra fellow is. Honestly, we're still trying to figure that out. He's like a lost child in your local Tesco. But Wyra is the sole reason that I'm even banished to this island in the first place. You see, in the last Outcast episode, I turned everyone's chests into barrels. Because chests are stupid and dumb and stupid and dumb and stupid and stupid. Wyra didn't like that one bit. So he held a court case with every member, took away all my items, and banished me to this stupid bloody mushroom island. So that's why I'm moving this entire island to spawn. Because if spawns a mushroom island, then technically I'm allowed to step foot on it. I just gotta get this bloody silk touch first. So, cow montage! Yay! I... I slipped. But on a side note, silk touch! Yay! Now, what do I name you? First message after this is what I name my shovel. Go. Now. Hello, Raylan. Me and you are going to remove this entire mushroom island. So, uh, get ready for a silly old trip. Yo! This is Rasmus. And he wanted our help with a project he was working on. What's the project? Well, I'm trying to get another right house for my Brody, right? Basically, in one week, Rasmus was doing a Neverite mining competition in order to get loads of Neverite for his pet axolotl McBrody. Listen, he's weird. It, it, don't judge. But I was given the task to steal all the Neverite and then skedaddle away. And then at the end of the event, give it all back to Rasmus. And in return, I would get an IOU, which means he has to do whatever I tell him to do as a one-time use. Oh, Rasmus, IOU. Boom shagalaga. This competition was also taking place 5,000 blocks away in the nether. So he gave me some stuff for the journey. Uh, I'll, I'll give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm guessing you don't have an elytra and rockets. Gotcha. Uh, let me get that real quick. So. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yoink. You know what? That's another. I guess that's another. <laughs> Take these two, and then I'll call you what I need you. I'll show you the location you have to go to. Go through another portal, right? You're gonna have to leave your island. Steal all the ancient debris, and then leave, okay? Okay. Yay, we did it, guys. We did the best of the potential. It went all right, other than the fact that she used her <laughs> my ender chest. I didn't think about that. Well, this meeting went absolutely fantastic, mainly because Rasmus is a bloody idiot, but these items will definitely come in handy and make our time on this island not as painful, especially with the pretty pink wood. Oh, wow, look at this, so pretty! Oh, look at the pretty wood, yay! And the shulker boxes give us a proper place to actually store the mycelium. So let's get to mycelium and then, I mean, let's, let's get a, like, I, montage! <laughs> Oh no, Raylan is really low durability. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of an oversight. I kind of forgot about my shovel breaking, and I don't really know how to repair it. Okay, that's a lie. I kind of do know how. Raylan has the enchantment mending on it, so XP equals durability. But how do we get a sustainable income of XP on a bloody mushroom island? Well, I have one idea. We can use a spider farm. Yeah, in a cave I came across a spider spawner and I noted down its coordinates to use later on. And right now is later on. So if I just look around here and... Oh, whippity-doo, it's the spider spawner! 
Now to actually make the spider farm we need to mine out a large area and to be honest I'm way too lazy to do that. So we're gonna cover the spawner in obsidian and then blow the area up instead. This is definitely safe, don't worry. This is gonna be splendid. Jolly good. Then we just fill in wall 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we remove the obsidian around the spawner and mine the floor underneath. Where the bloody hell's my spider spawner? <sighs> listen. Actually, no, don't listen. I have no excuse. I'm just stupid as hell. Okay, I broke the spider spawner. How the hell do I get XP now? Well, another method of getting XP I tried was fishing. Bro, this is slow as hell. The only other method I could think of was using an all mob farm, but it's a bit risky. See, I can't leave this mushroom island and hostile mobs can't spawn on a mushroom island. Meaning we can't make a mob farm without a spawner. And I kinda blew mine up. So in order to build this mob farm, we would have to come off of the island. So that's exactly what I did. Listen, if it gets destroyed by Wyra, then um... Womp womp. Rightio, um, please work. Please. Pretty please of a cherry on top. Please! Yippee! Now we can repair railing. Let's go! By this point, I've gathered a routine of mining mycelium, using the mob farm, mining mycelium, using the mob farm. Oh, and mining mycelium. Now, I plan to fill a minimum of 12 shulker boxes worth of mycelium in order to guarantee that the entirety of spawn can be turned into a mushroom island. Oh, by the way, that's a casual 20,736 mycelium. Yay! You know, it would be pretty funny if we could get 20,736 subscribers. Please, 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 I'm begging you, please. Progress towards the 20,000 mycelium was going absolutely fantastic, but nothing could prepare me for what another server member would do. <laughs> you better be on this island, I up. am. What, what, what? This is Wyra. You've met him before, you know? The stupid panda that sheared my cows and took away all my items and banished me to this goddamn mushroom island. Yeah, that guy. How do you get this wood, huh? Did you leave the island for this? I have not left the I I can assure you, I have not left the island a single time. Wyra was just a tad bit angry that I had wood on the mushroom island. I don't know, maybe he doesn't like the colour pink or something. But I couldn't tell him that I got wood from my ender chest, because then he would demand for all the items from my ender chest. So I used a very advanced strategy called lying. Um, I found him in a mine shaft. Mine shaft? I know for a fact you can't get cherry trees at a mine- Tazo, are you helping her? No, I'm actually not. I don't know how she got these trees. She's got cherry trees. Cherry trees Wait, have the mine shop, which means someone else is hot. Who? Tell me right now. I can't say. What do you mean you can't say? Listen, I heard the phrase snitches get stitches when I was younger and I ain't getting no stitches, bruh. They're expensive. And besides, Rasmus didn't even intend on helping me. He's just stupid and placed an ender chip. But this is really bad. It's clear that Wyra doesn't like me talking with any of the other outcast members under any circumstances. I guess you could say I've been outcasted from the outcasts. Ah! Wyra is the main person stopping me from entering spawn or even speaking to another person entirely. He doesn't want me to have stuff, he doesn't want me to have friends, and after all, he's the one who banished me here completely alone in the first place. And me refusing to tell him who, quote unquote, helped me, got him really hissy fissy and he was just not having it, blood. Everyone, follow me right now. I'm done. Uh, that's so funny that we're constructing this maximum security prison just on your front lawn. Oh, so Wyra's building a prison to scare and enforce me into being alone. And on top of that, he's breaking my trees! I like my trees! Give me them back! Wait, how does back. she have shulker boxes? I'm sweet. What? Some how do you have shulker boxes? I'm You're just actually just cheating. Realize. You are the mob grinder! Wait, you yeah. left the island! No, this is still on the island. No, it's that not. not on that, that mob grinder That's not on the island! island. The island. This is an island. That's the ocean. The ocean. I'm giving you, know you one what? last chance. Uh -huh. Don't leave the island. Well, fumble bottoms. Now our mob farm is entirely useless. Our only way of repairing Raylin is killing random mobs in caves or building an AFK fish farm. It may be slow, but at least I can watch something in the background. By the way, I'm in a subscriber race with Tazo to 500,000 subscribers. And this line currently shows how close I am. 
No, not the blue line, the red line down here. Yeah, I'm literally over 300,000 subscribers behind, but I think it would be really funny if I could somehow pass him and take the 500k title for my own. I mean, it literally won't happen, but um... Silly! Right now, I'm currently making a secret room to store all the mycelium, as there's a very good chance that Wyra will take it all from me. Now, I've already collected a few shulker boxes full of the sweet, sweet mycelium, but something I'm concerned about is how long it'll actually take to turn spawn into mycelium. If I'm caught while turning spawn into mycelium, then I will instantly be killed, because when Wyra banished me, he announced that I was kill on sight. So, to get an understanding on how long this will take, I'm going to turn a random smaller island into a mushroom island. If I get caught while doing this, then my booty is getting absolutely killed. No questions asked. Okay, let's begin the timer. That took 10 bloody minutes. Oh no. Spawn is literally like 10 times the size of this pathetic little island. That leaves an hour and 40 minutes for me to be caught and killed. Yeah, I definitely need people to help me with this. Now, ideally I want two people minimum helping me turn spawn into a mushroom island. And the good news is that I already have one person in mind. Rasmus. Remember how if I helped him with his Neverite competition, he would give me an IOU? So I could use the IOU to have him help me turn spawn into mycelium. I just gotta help him with the Neverite mining competition first. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about it. Whoops. Okay, so my job is to set off this TNT, then it will explode, and then everyone will go over to the explosion and be distracted. Then I go and steal all the ancient debris from these barrels, and then skedaddle away without anyone seeing me. Okay. Oh. oh my god. I'll be taking that. That's Wait, so who was random. laying that? Who laid that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, he's in the room. Wait, wait what? Wait, it's, he dies here. Look, it's a, the zombies burn all the stuff. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so I may have ruined Rasmus's event and exposed to everyone that he was working with me, but it's fine. I can still use the IOU Rasmus gave me regardless of him agreeing or not. Actually, no I can't. Before the event, I put the IOU in an ender chest. And I have no way of getting an ender chest other than Rasmus placing one down. But he'll probably be nice and place down an ender chest for me. Pr probably. Rasmus. Come here. Come here. Stand for 10 blocks away from me at all times. Fine. I, ju I just need the ender chest for one thing. Why? Give me one good reason. I should give it to you. Now, of course, I can't tell him that I want his IOU. I just ruined his entire event, and he will absolutely not place down the ender chest if I tell him I want the IOU. I need the ender chest for something that Wyra gave me. Mm, I don't believe that. Wyra hates you. You made a whole prison. He's streaming it. You've ruined my thing. You've ruined the fact that I was going to get another right. No, and you still have the. No, you yeah, still have the. Right. Right. You don't still go have the. Don't go close to me. Don't go close to me. Don't okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh, wow. Rasmus is a lot more angry than I thought. I can't even go 10 blocks close to him. What, what the hell is this goddamn restraining order? So, not look at me. One wrong move, and this energy just goes. Tell me right here, right now. Why do you need it? I need that IOU. I can't turn spawn into a mushroom island by myself. I need a team. But I can't tell Rasmus that I want the IOU, but I need him to give me the IOU. But the IOU's in my ender chest and it's because of something Wyra gave me. I don't trust you. I think I'm just gonna leave. That's crazy. Anyways. Well, fiddlesticks. How do I get the IOU out of my ender chest if I can't even get an ender chest? Wait a minute. Please, Wyra, please, please have an under chest. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you, please, please. Hey, Stalina, can you flick that switch which turns you into a cringy wannabe villain? <laughs> doing an evil laugh. <laughs> yeah, that one. So I forcefully recruited Rasmus, and that officially gives us our first member. Out of two. Who the blummin' crikey cruise is gonna be my next member on the team? Like, the entire server hates me, dog. Okay, so like, do that thing where I suddenly have a solution to this problem. 
This is Cyan, and I have a proposition in which he may accept in order to help us turn Spawn into a mushroom island. You see, on the last episode of the Outcasts, I made everyone on the server do parkour. If they beat the parkour, I would give them their chest back, and Cyan was one of the people who failed the parkour, forcing him to use barrels for the rest of the server. Well, I mean, he technically completed the parkour, but then did this weird thing called being selfless, and then gave me his chest so that everyone else could get their chest, but, 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 but for simplicity's sake, he failed, okay? So, if I give Cyan his chest back as a reward for helping us turn Spawn into a mushroom island, then he might help us, maybe? Listen, it's a slim chance, but it's literally all we've got. What do you want, Barrel Bandit? I want to talk with you. So I explained to Cyan our whole plan, our whole shabode, if you will. And he said, I mean, honestly, that sounds pretty dope. Oh, wait, oh, wait, what? Was that that easy? I mean, it's already been overtaken by Skulk, so like, I mean, wait, what? If huh? it becomes mycelium, what kind of what's the difference? Spawn's been overtaken by Skulk. Yeah, so the outcast spawn is currently completely overtaken by Skulk. You know, I do wonder who may have done that. Well, I mean, it doesn't really affect us too much. We just gotta break Skulk now instead of grass. Anyway, Skulk aside, Cyan was willing to help us for his chests back. And that officially makes the three of us team place down lots of mushrooms in spawn because I want to get unbanished because it's like really lonely out here. Like and subscribe, cheese. Listen, it's a good team name, okay? Anyways, tomorrow the three of us will turn spawn into a mushroom island and I will finally be unbanished from this stupid island dark. Like, it's been so annoying. This island is stupid. Hell, but stupid, stupid. Evil layer time. Boom. Oh my uh, god. This is such a disappointingly no. not grand reveal. This is the best I could do on a mushroom island. And now, to spawn. Let's go. Yay. Look at what we have Yo, accomplished today. We did it. Mushroom. Everything is mushrooms. I'm on Everything is mushrooms. Does this mean I get my chest back? Yeah, you can have chest now. Whoa. Are uh, you, please? Yes, I am. F I'm a free man. After I turned spawn into a mushroom island, a familiar face showed up. That's what are you doing? Hi, Wara. What are you doing? Oh god damn! Oh, I cannot wait what are you, two seconds. What are you doing? I'm unbanished. No, you're not. By who? Under whose authority? The court case said you are only allowed to enter mushroom islands. What's this island? It's a mushroom island. I am on a mushroom island. You can't kill me. Myra, 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 Myra. My right, body is mad as hell. If you're so confident about me having to go back to the other mushroom island shouldn't we have a vote if you're oh, yeah. in the Who are right your voters tazo miles rasmus mm -hmm. if you're in the right then everyone will vote with you if i'm in the right everyone will vote with me let's see if i get thrown in the prison or i get to stay here Fine. basically you were supposed to stay on the mushroom island your present which violates the rules. Now your argument for this is that you turned spawn into a huge mushroom island. The voting is whether that is a legal action or not. No Very right. Or Estalina should be locked away in prison. Yes, or she should be freed. Yes. Wait, does Estalina get to vote on her own? No, Estalina doesn't get to <laughs> vote. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sorry, okay. okay. Why are you count, count them up? I will count them up. Who the fuck wrote maybe? <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put the maybe in the yes pile because you are heavily outvoted. You're going to prison. No. Yep, well, now I'm in prison. Okay, just kidding. Tazo helped me escape. But I couldn't stick around on the outcast spawn because I'll be thrown back into the prison if anyone sees me. So I thought I'd stop my ways of barrel banditing and give Wyra a very big present with the thing he likes most. This is an ordinary chest and this is the largest chest ever. Okay, just kidding. This is the largest chest in all of Minecraft, and I'm going to build it in survival mode as a present for this player. Right. It's here. Yay. Now, I'm currently building a frame for the chest so I know where to actually place the blooming blocks, which just so happens to be a casual 100,000 blocks. So that's gonna be fun. 
I'm done with the chest, with, with, the, with the frame. I'm done with the frame of the chest. Now, I can actually already begin building the giant chest, as dark oak is literally one of the materials we need. And I cleared out this entire area of dark oak forest, so this should be enough for the frame at least. Now I need to shear all of this wood because the outline of the chest is made of stripped oak logs. And these bloody bin bats are not stripped, bruh! Now we can shear all these logs really quickly if we just fly up here and... I have a sneaking suspicion that this didn't bloody work. Clearly falling to our death isn't working, but I have a method which might actually work. But for it, we just need a few materials. First being Neverwatt, then redstone, phantom membranes, then we need to get some blaze rods, and this all combined creates a slay falling potion. So let's just hope this works. And the silly bonus is now I don't have to pop any more totems. Uh, this is currently how much of the chest we've done. Now, how much wood do you think it took to build? Maybe one, two, possibly three shulker boxes? If you're feeling a little quirky. I used all of it. I chopped down this entire 140 by 140 area of dark oak forest for it to not even cover half of the chest's outline. We need so much more wood and I am by no means chopping down another goddamn dark oak tree. So I have a silly plan to get thousands upon thousands of dark oak wood. But to begin, we need to collect a bloody bunch of materials. So many in fact that I'm just going to put them in this ridiculously long list. Glass, iron, hoppers, redstone, rails, dirt, honey, slime, ancient debris, ice, and an anvil which I can just take from my own anvil infested house. But all of these materials combine to make one of the most complex and powerful dark oak farms in Minecraft, producing around 21 thousand dark oak logs per hour. Alrighty, let's check how much wood we got from this. Oh, oh my glibbity glob mate, this is bloody bonkers. Now listen, this silly little furry finding our giant chest may seem harmless at first until I tell you the real reason as to why I'm building this chest in the first place. You see, two Outcast episodes ago, I stole everyone's chest and replaced them with barrels, which got me banished to a mushroom island. So I moved the entire mushroom island to spawn, which got me thrown in jail. And um, right now, I'm not in jail. Yet, I'm a wanted criminal. I can't let people discover this giant chest, or more specifically, I can't let Wyra find the chest. As he's the guy in authority. He banished me to a mushroom island and he locked me away in jail. This chest is meant to be a giant apology to him, to show him that I'm sorry for changing all the chests into barrels and turning spawn into a mushroom island. Because like, come on, being banished or put in prison kinda sucks. This fairy could easily spread what I'm doing to other members including Wyra, so I just have to hope that he stays quiet. Now the outline of the chest is completely finished, which officially makes dark oak wood a block we no longer need, but it's also only the second largest amount of blocks, with regular oak being a few thousand times more than dark oak. Yeah, I'm leaving that for later. Ain't nobody got time for that, bro. I'll start with the smallest amount of blocks needed and work my way up towards the oak wood, starting with brown terracotta. Now, Mesa Biomes are home to a bunch of terracotta, the brown variant included, but mining it normally would take actual bloody years. So if I just do a little bit of boom, a bit of bam, a bit of boom, brown terracotta becomes insta-mineable. With the brown terracotta complete, that only leaves spruce and oak wood left to do. And I guess the 1,844 blocks of iron. <sighs> spruce wood we can collect from our dark oak farm, if we literally just swap the saplings. Why, why isn't it working? I mean, there's bone meal in the dispensers. 
time to build another goddamn farm. And for this farm, we need the exact same materials as the dark egg farm. Plus some pistons now. So if I just do a little bit of ow, 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 ow. we can now farm spruce wood really easily peasily. Yeah, just kidding. Nope, no, we can't. Wanna know why? We need bone meal and tons of it. I didn't show it, but I AFK'd our service bone meal farm for like three hours to get all the dark oak we need. But now I'm bloody out. You can tell because the dispenser is making this annoying sound. So before I can even think about AFKing the spruce farm, I need to AFK the bone of I mean bone meal farm. I'm mature, I promise. Okay, so the way this silly farm works is you put the bone meal in these chests, which then puts it into this dispenser next to where you place the sapling, and then boom. That's some mad wood, yo. I then proceeded to AFK the spruce farm for hours, but look at all this goddamn wood, yo. Oh my god, go oh my god. Placing all the spruce wasn't too hard either. Each pixel is 10 blocks large, by the way. But as easy as this build was going, something was starting to make me worried. More and more people were finding our giant chest. I began this project four days ago and I'm only just starting to place the spruce. And that's not even mentioning oak, which is a total of 50,000 blocks. A whole 20,000 more than dark oak used for the frame. Any one of these people could spread what I'm doing to the entire server. Any one of them could report that I'm no longer in jail. I really can't let Wyra find this chest before I finish it. I started to think of how I could finish this chest just even a little bit faster, as it's clear this project would just take far too long if I do it by myself. So I had an idea. Two, actually. If the main problem is the speed that we're building at, then we need to speed it up drastically. One method of this is a mod called Lightmatica. Essentially, it gives you blueprints and tells you where to place the goddamn blocks. It's like cheating, bruh! I'm literally fucking cheating! But I'm still building this chest alone, so I decided that I would recruit a team to help me build the chest. Now, yes, this is a very risky move. Any one of these people could easily snitch on me to Wyra, which is why I will be giving each person an official Estelina I. OU, which basically means I have to do whatever they want as a one-time use. I wanted to have eight people in total, including me, so that I could have two people working on every side of the chest. Now I can't just grab any random person off the Outcast server, I want people who are experienced in big projects for maximum efficiency. So let me introduce you to Team Big. Tazo, who travelled an entire Minecraft world. Luigi Tone, who built the world's largest nether portal. Gizmos, who built a massive dirt castle. That chief guy, who solved the server's biggest mystery. I mean, it's literally got big in the title. Yeah, Jared, who built a world record poop. Aeon, who built a giant sugarcane farm. And Rasmus, who built the smallest base in Minecraft. Listen, we needed some diversity, okay? The, the, uh, ow, ow. We were all scheduled to completely finish the giant chest in three days. So within that time, I need to finish the spruce, collect all the iron for this part of the chest, and get all 50,000 oak wood. This is gonna be tough. So uh, please subscribe. Now the iron may seem like the most difficult material to get out of these items, but it's actually the easiest. The Outcast has an overpowered iron farm which produces I don't know how much iron per hour. But what I do know is that it's super duper fast. A little progress update, um, the spruce is entirely finished, which officially makes 4 out of the 7 materials complete. Now I do have all the iron for this bit of the chest, but I want to do this part last, with all of Team Big, so I'm just gonna collect the oak wood in the meantime. Now considering I made a farm for specifically dark oak wood and spruce wood, can you take a wild guess as to what we're gonna do for the oak wood? Yeah, that's right, we're gonna use the spruce farm. Yeah, the spruce farm is actually a spruce and oak and birch farm all in one. So that is handy dandy if I do say so myself. Now there isn't really much for me to commentate over. I just kind of sat here and used the oak farm for hours. I mean, at least I have my buddies and pals to keep me company. Um, Estelle, no. Yeah. You for yourself, mate, you stupid <laughs> prick. You bloody friend. 
done f- For the next two days, I ran a cycle of running the oak farm, running out of bone meal, running the bone meal farm, and then running the oak farm again. But after a long session of AFKing, we finally got the 50,000 oak we need for the chest. Now, there isn't time to celebrate yet. First of all, us and Team Big need to finish building the chest. And most importantly, Wyra needs to like this giant chest. As if it looks terrible once we finish it, then I'll probably be thrown in prison by Wyra again. So um, let's just hope he likes it. Team, we gotta fill in this entire chest. I'm on it. If you come to the pink chest, there's a bunch of sugar boxes, and this is all, and this is all the wood we need to fill in the chest. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Oh my! That's mine. I'm gonna eat it. Wyra. Hello. We are kind of on bad terms. I don't want to be the barrel bandit anymore. I know my word alone won't convince you, so I've made something. Hopefully this can make you believe that what I'm saying is honest. Where are we going? Oh. I have made you a giant hell? chest. Oh my god! That is giant! Yeah, this is the world record biggest chest ever. Yeah, I can't even fit it in my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Estella, you have too much time on your hands. You know that, right? So, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for all the barrel bands thing. I'm sorry for the mycelium. Yeah. Sorry for escaping jail. And I hope that yeah. you can forgive me. Estella, I see what you've built here. It's actually incredibly generous. And honestly, I think... All right, I guess... I guess this is cool. So, do you forgive me? As long as you don't do any other shenanigans, yes. <laughs> Yay! Okay, follow me, Wyra. Now... Would you be mad if I told you that there's a giant barrel inside the giant chest? No, you <laughs> suck! You, <laughs> suck. <laughs> you <laughs> suck! Get out of here!